I'm setting up the camera right now. Cool. It's a bit too dark. All right. So I think this topic is uh, um. What can I say? This topic is just something that in life in general, life in general, it can be ups and downs, you know. In life, you can't always... You like to think your life always climbs the ladder. And I know you, you watch a lot of those um, most, uh, motivation videos, you know, you can do this, you can do better, but you have to set in life in reality what you do in life, there's always you go up and you go down, or you crash, crashing down. I think one thing in life that most people do not accept is to downgrade. And I especially I've spotted this, especially when I was a uh, volunteer, probably five six years ago, in the Salvation Army, where people are like saying, I before I lost my job or you know whatever it is their job is I earn sixty thousand dollars I'm not willing to downgrade to fifty or forty um sixty thousand dollars I am I I'm I'm keeping my head high for sixty plus above now that is something that I am not in my position to say anything all right I just I observe but in life you eat What's better, being unemployed six months or one year if you can't get a job? And you know, he, he's pretty much was on the dole. Um, Australia, what we call the dole, is pretty much on the social security, social welfare, and um, you know, just looking for jobs every single day, just to order to get sixty thousand dollars. A year later, he's still in the same, you know, um, volunteer, which is the Salvation Army's op shop. So, Salvation Army is like op shops. Uh, you know, and um, when I look into it, I start to realize that is it really that worth it? Now, that's one great example. Another example is obviously in life, we wanted to upgrade, uh, we want to buy experience, we want to do this, we want to do that. Uh, that's part of life, you know. I'm not going to argue with it, but that's life, all right? So, life is um, you know, you chase what's better, what's good. It's all up to your lifestyle. And, um, you know, chase a better job or better car or better house or whatever it is. There's a cost. And, you know, when I go through, when I look back in my life and, you know, at the age of 19, I had a business, 50 50 director of my father, a family business in the building industry. Uh, you know, parents had a house under my name for the first homeowner grad due to, uh, there was a bollish, there, it was a, a phase for it, and I had a car, at the age of 19, I pretty much had everything, uh, but literally it's been built by my father, and I look back at it now, and, and now, I got nothing, you know, I just, uh, in the last six or last probably after the last 10, 10 or 11 months I just got back to the working industry and uh, you know I started from day one um, you know baby steps all the way through what it is in life uh, I, a lot more intellectual than what I was when I was 19 years old um, I did stuff that you know I regret and things like that but I downgraded to all the way to the bottom and to be where I am today and unfortunately I am going to go for a different phase of life in the next two months uh, and, um, and whether it's an upgrade or downgrade we're always looking for upgrade for me be what I've been taught by people out there be small be humble don't show off um life is all about surviving and i'm pretty sure all you guys go through social media is going through flicking through your accounts and seeing how other people are living a luxurious lifestyles whatever but when i work in age and disability i see a different point of view i see myself like 
everyone can have the vanity lifestyle, impulse lifestyle, or uh, Instagram vacation, and do whatever they want, or work hard, they deserve this, they've got a house, and this and that. I stopped focusing on that, and I started to realize, you know, life is a journey, and, you know, we have to survive to 80 or 100 years old. The real winner out of this whole thing is those who can survive all the way through without getting their job being replaced by a robot, automation, AI, in the technological era. And when I drop my life standards down, everything down, and everyone's teasing me that I'm using this phone, you know, brick phone, and this wonderful one little room, and I have a 30 year old car, soon I got another work car, but it makes it simplify, minimalization made me realize how how stress free, so much freedom to go through. But when you keep upgrading, upgrading, there's too much, you know, there's too much things to think about over your head. And, and sometimes in life you crush and burn. Um, you know, I went to through the, um, you know, life you can have mental health or suicidal thoughts, which I previously had, and that took my a ch chunk of my life away and to be where I am today now next two months my life is going to be completely changed and it's going to be very very uh, I still got that PTSD moment in my life so yeah so in life don't always think that you always be in this upgraded lifestyle. There's always people out there who are 10 times a lot more hungrier, a lot more feistier than you. At the end of the day, we all get, we can always be replaceable. That's the video, mate.